Hello everyone. You may notice I don't sound as grumpy as usual, like in my other perk highlight videos. This is mainly because I'm retiring the identity of Grumpy Cheryl, and just being my normal self. There are several reasons why, but the biggest reason is that my friends told me that although the videos are funny, they just don't give enough information. So that's why the perk highlight videos are going to be changed for the future. Now let's get back to the main topic for today, that being Deliverance. Deliverance is a perk that belongs to Adam Francis, and can be unlocked on his blood web at level 35. This is one perk that many believed would be extremely overpowered back when it was revealed, however later on it just seemed to vanish from people's minds. We'll look into why, but first, what does Deliverance do? After unhooking a teammate and the game reads it as a safe unhook, the perk becomes active. Once the killer downs you and puts you up on the hook, you have a 100% chance of unhooking yourself. Unlike Slippery Meat, where you have to rely on luck or using luck offerings to get a chance to unhook yourself, Deliverance gives you the power to unhook yourself without failure. The perk's design idea is simple in discussion, however, when you split it open, it reveals several positives and negatives. Let's, look at, let's talk about the positives first. Having the chance to unhook yourself is a very powerful thing in DBD, and it can be handy when teammates cannot save you before struggle phase. There could be several reasons as to why none of your teammates could unhook you in the first place. One reason could be that they need to get gen pressure, another reason could be that they are being chased by the killer, and one last reason could be because they are immersed in the terrain and wish to crawl along the corners till the end of time. Another benefit for the perk is that with game knowledge, it can help you apply pressure to the killer in different ways. Let's look at a clip from one of my games. Earlier on, I unhooked one of the Davids, and since the killer was nowhere nearby, I got a safe unhook, allowing Deliverance to become active. I was later chased by Wraith and got insta down by him due to him having Devour Hope. Once he hooked me, and I saw that he was after one of my teammates, I used Deliverance and began to run to Funhouse, the building here. The reasoning for this was that we needed to remove Devour Hope before we could do anything else, and I knew that a totem usually spawns in Funhouse. It was mainly luck, but with the power of Deliverance I managed to break the totem, removing Devour from the game. We still lost, but that was due to a 3 gen. I may talk about how to avoid that in a future video. Although Deliverance can have this type of power, I love referencing a joke that many quote from Todd Howard, that being, it just works. Many of Adam's perks reference this quote, but just slightly adjusted. Autodidact can impact healing speed and almost insta heal teammates when it works. Diversion is a useful perk that can distract the killer when it works, and Deliverance can apply pressure to the killer when it works. With that, let's look at some negatives. Firstly, Deliverance needs a safe unhook to become active. This is probably the weakest point for negatives, but it's still a valid reason. If you're unhooking a teammate hoping to get the safe unhook, but the killer is face camping, there is a chance where the teammate will get hit with you getting an, un an unhook, just not a safe one. Let's also remember that DBD can be silly at times with its spaghetti code. The biggest problem that Deliverance has is that if you are caught out by the killer first, or before you can make an unhook, Deliverance becomes more useless than Buckle Up. Let's look at an example from one of my games. It just started, but the doctor found me first, and due to my weak looping skill and poor decision making, I get downed by him and become the first hooked survivor for the game. Deliverance gives you a 100% chance to unhook yourself, sure, but only on the first stage. If you're in struggle stage or death hook, Deliverance won't be there to save you. This is the big negative that players find about Deliverance, which is why it never became meta-defining. 
The last negative about Deliverance is that it applies the broken stats effect for to players for 60 seconds at tier 3. Broken is a stats that makes the survivor unable to be healed by themselves or by teammates. This mainly exists as a counterbalance from behavior to keep potentially strong perks from being overtuned. Then there's no mither. Yeah, I don't know why this exists either. Okay. One last point I wish to talk about is synergies that Deliverance can have with other perks. Like many, Deliverance can make some nasty combos when used properly. Breakdown can be a fun perk to run with some friends if you wish to play a Sabo build. Borrowed Time can be useful to help you secure a safe unhook. Iron Will can help you stay silent with when playing louder characters, especially since you'll stay injured for 60 seconds due to Broken, and even... <laughs> can be useful by giving you your second chance a third chance. There's one perk that Behavior made though I wish comboed well with Deliverance, however due to ban balance shenanigans and broken existing for so long with Deliverance, I may never see the day that Second Wind could combo with Deliverance. Maybe in my dreams. And with that we are done! Although Deliverance has such harsh negatives, it's still a fun perk to run. So go ahead and give it a try. You may enjoy it as much as I did. Good luck in your games, everybody.